Welcome to an introduction uh, to Community College. Uh, I'm Jody Bolma, the Honors Coordinator at Fullerton College. I'm also the Political Science Professor uh, there. So uh, I'll, I'll kind of go over the basics between uh, high school to college and, uh, and an introduction to the public university system that we have in California. Um, so the big difference between high school and college is you're not restricted by time. Um, in high school, everyone is expected to take the same, num same number of credits in advance um, based on the achievement of those credits to the next year. In, in, in higher education and college, you can go at your own pace. If you only want to take two classes a semester, you can do that. It will just extend the number of years that you take. If we're looking to get through in, in four years, uh, you should be meeting the benchmark of 30 units a year. Uh, if, if you take 12 units per semester, you would need to take some summer classes to reach that 30 units. Uh, some don't want to take summer, so they do 15 units a semester and, and only take semester courses. Uh, the, the, the goal for the community college is that you would complete your first two years, 60 units at the community college, and then transfer to the CSU, to the UC, to a private school, to an out-of-state school where you would finish those units. Um, 60 to 120 units is, 120 is kind of the goal for a bachelor's summer, 124. Um, but that would meet the requirement for, for the bachelor's degree at almost every school. So what is a unit? What are we talking about? So the, the unit is, is what is assigned um, to a course. Uh, it, it's based on the number of hours that you spend in the classroom. And then we, as a guide, you should be spending about two hours outside uh, of class. So if you're taking a three unit class, it's six hours outside. So that's how we come up with full-time students, um, are 12 to 15 units a semester. If it's 15 hours in class, 30 hours outside, that's 45 hours total that you should be spending on school. You know, 12 in class, 24 outside is 36. That's still a lot of hours that you're spending. Uh, and, and so we have a wide variety of options. Um, most of the lecture classes are three units. Um, some are four if they have an additional uh, time commitment. Uh, some science classes with labs will equal five unit courses where you're spending five hours in class and 10 hours outside of class. Um, some of our foreign language classes are, are more intensive. So five hour, which is five units, you get those extra time credits based on that. Um, we have some one unit courses. Uh, internship classes might be one unit. We have an intro to library class that is one unit, really valuable, but, but less of a time commitment. And so fewer units given. Just a broad overview. Um, we have 116 California community colleges, uh, where you enter, uh, you know, open enrollment, uh, straight from high school or GED. Uh, you can earn an AA or an associate's degree is what we call that, a certificate, uh, and, and really prepare you for transfer. The goal in our master plan of education in California is that those students who start at the community college can then transfer to privates or out of states and, and by legislation transfer to the California states. Uh, and, and the universities of California and those schools, the CSUs and the UCs reserve space for our community college transfer students. Cal States, uh, we have one in our backyard of Cal State Fullerton, but, uh, they are all up and down the state. There are 23 campuses serving almost half a million students with over 200 degree and certificate programs. Uh, they really concentrate on undergraduate programs, professional training. You want to look at the majors they offer to understand if that best suits, uh, what you want to do. If you are a journalism major, uh, you know, I'd really recommend starting at the community college, getting experience on the paper, uh, and then transferring to a Cal State. The UCs tend not to have journalism degrees, just 
by by design of what the CSUs and UCs really um, do best and, and what they offer. So the University of California, uh, there are 10 campuses, all with different specialties, uh, about 300,000 students attending, again, over 200 degree programs that, that you can look up and see what they specialize in. Um, and their faculty are really concentrated on graduate programs. Research is really important. As undergrads, you can absolutely participate in that research. Um, but I, I always encourage my students who are looking to go to a UC to get the best of both worlds by attending a community college for those first two years, being in small classes, you know, gaining relationships with their professors to really learn and dive deep into the subject matter and then transferring to a CSU or a UC. Um, the, the same class that I teach at Fullerton College for, you know, intro American wow. government is um, 45 students, 90 students. Wow. The biggest classroom we have at Fullerton College is 130 students. That same class taught at Santa Barbara is uh, in a huge auditorium with about 800 to 1,000 students. So um, those lower division classes are often going to be really, really large at the UCs. So um, just something to consider depending on your learning style and what you uh, like best. The California Community Colleges, they're 2.4 million students at these 116 community colleges across the state. Uh, they're all a little bit different, uh, but they offer basic skills, um, remedial education for adult students, continuing education uh, to, to refresh your skills, to, to take classes for fun. Um, we have a lot of certificates uh, for, for career technical education, the AS or the AA associate's degree that you can earn and then transfer. We specialize in uh, transfer. So the values of going to a community college, I'm a big cheerleader for community college education. Uh, I wish I had known more about it as a student. Um, you can save a lot of money um, on tuition. I'll talk a little bit about the Promise program. Often you can live at home, although again, there's 116 community colleges. There's nothing to stop you from going to one out of the area and, uh, and, and exploring a different part of the state of California. You have time to explore and define your major. In those 120 units, we've built in uh, so, some wiggle room, some some extra units that you can take electives and explore things that might interest you. But that also gives you time to change your major. So if you don't know what your major is going to be, that's great. Take your general ed classes, take classes you've never been um, exposed to before, find your passion, find something you're interested in, and then you can declare your major. Um, you can earn an associate's degree uh, you can earn a certificate. You can complete your basic requirements for general education for that transfer. You can boost your GPA. We have, you know, millions of dollars of student support services on campus, tutoring and workshops, embedded tutors. And if you don't need those services, you can get a job working for us providing those services. Uh, you know, we have a writing center. We have a math lab. We have um, all of those sorts of services uh, to, to refine your skills and boost your GPA. You do get to interact with your professors. Uh, we are there to teach. Uh, we're, we're not conducting a lot of research. We're not working with graduate students or, or uh, doctoral students. We're not working with upper division students. We're really working with those students who are, are, are starting their educational path. Um, we have smaller class sizes. Um, one thing to ask when you're touring campuses is, you know, what's the largest lecture hall that you have and how many do you have? Um, if you're like Fullerton College and say, we have one lecture hall that seats 130 students, uh, we can only use that so many times a day. So there's not many classes that we can schedule in that room. Um, most of our classes are much smaller. Fullerton College numbers. Uh, we love to brag about the fact that we're the oldest continuous community college in California, started in 1913. There are some advantages to going to an older school. 
um, chief among them are that we have a lot of scholarships that were established long, long ago. And so we uh, give our students who are transferring and graduating uh, uh, money as scholarships. So we have about 23,000 students. We offer 122 associate's degree. We have 110 career technical education certificates, um, transfer associate degrees that are partnered with uh, the Cal States to, to ease that uh, transfer process, which is really important. And then clubs and organization. Campus life is so incredibly important. What you learn in college should not be limited to the classroom itself. Um, so I really encourage you, no matter where you go, to get involved. A certificate or associate's degree. Uh, we, the certificate programs are shorter, usually. 15 to 55 units needed for those. All of the classes count towards the certificate. You don't have to take general ed classes. Uh, you know, you're ready for employment upon completion of that. That certificate. The associate's degree is designed for transfer to the to the university. Um, you're on your path to a bachelor's degree. Uh, we have amazing career education programs, and and for those students who aren't sure that college is where they want to go, um, coming to a community college and completing a certificate that prepares you for the workforce is amazing. You can always come back and finish your education. Um, if if you have to work during college, why not work in your field and get that experience and find out if it's what you want to do? So architecture and construction, automotive technology, um, cosmetology, fashion design. We have a drone lab on campus where you can get a certificate um, to, to learn how to pilot a drone, which is an incredible new uh, 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 industry that needs pilots. We have a, a pilot um apprenticeship program where your expenses can be paid. You can also join the honors program. I'm the coordinator of the honors program, so I got to promote this with a 3.4 GPA uh, weighted um, or a faculty referral. If, if you struggled during your first couple of years or the pandemic slowed you down um, with a faculty referral based on your potential, we would love to have you for those of you who know other people uh, who, who might be returning or veterans, we accept uh, uh, returning students and veterans into our program happily. Special admit students, we've got some young students, K through 12, who are taking honors classes with us. Uh, one of the benefits of the honors program is getting to present classroom research at conferences and, and, and meeting with other community college students, getting that experience, which really helps uh, when you're transferring to the university to have that experience. It's a lot of what graduate school is based on. So getting that experience is important. Our acceptance rate uh, for transfer is incredibly high. Uh, UCLA, Berkeley, UCI, Cal State Fullerton, um, these schools really uh, accept our honor certified students, meaning they finish the program. UCLA, uh, we have an 84% acceptance rate because those students get to apply twice uh, to two different majors, and it's a major acceptance. So if biology is impacted, they could be accepted as a biochem or a chemistry major. That helps improve their chances. Um, the, the real benefit is these seminar style classes. You're in a class with only 20 students, deeper discovery. It's not designed to be the hardest class you've ever had, um, but for real deep dive, uh, project-based learning, conference applications, all of these really great um, experiences in the honors program. Our transfer rates are high. Fullerton is ranked number one in transfer rates. Uh, we, we have uh, uh, the highest number in the state to the Cal States. What you're looking for for that transfer is 40 units of general ed that the CSUs and UCs want you to have, that you have to have to graduate anyway. You might as well take your English and your math and public speaking, all of those sort of general ed classes, science. Um, and then major prep, you want to choose a major and take classes that those schools want you to take. And again, you can have some electives built into that. Uh, the CSU and IGETSE uh, are looking at 40 units of general ed, uh, 0 to 20 in your major. Some majors are 18 units, some majors are 15 units, and then electives. Um, so you might go over 60 a little bit. Uh, if you're finding your way, that's fine. Uh, but that's what they're looking for. So you want to meet with a counselor and get an educational plan. Um, when you're at the college, you want to refer to the syllabus. You want to self-advocate, ask questions. 
Um, you, you want to, to really be independent. Um, we do have the North Orange promise, which means that you have free tuition. Uh, the health fee is waived. So we have um, a lot of benefits for uh, North Orange County high school students who come to Fullerton College uh, for college. Uh, and, and we hope that you will uh, join us. Lots of other programs, disability support, EOPS, um, the CARE program, athletics, uh, the Teacher Pathway Program for Future Teachers, lots of programs on campus. We have a transfer center that you can go to on the first day uh, to get ready to transfer. Um, you can uh, definitely be part of the campus. One thing I, I want to remind you of is that because we only have freshmen and sophomore, you get to be a big fish in a small pond. It is easy to be president of a club your first year. It is easy to get elected to Associated Students because um, there's there are only freshmen and sophomore there. Uh, we don't have upper classmen. We don't have graduate students competing for those roles. So there is a real advantage um, to, to being a campus leader, to getting that experience, to finding your path, um, to finding your people, uh, which is always crucial to, to making sure that you feel comfortable. So um, I hope uh, that we'll see you soon. Um, lots of other community colleges in the state as well. They're not quite as good as Fullerton College, but they're awfully good. Uh, so I hope that as you finish high school and start thinking about uh, where you want your next step to be that you'll consider the community college. Thank you.